Hi, I'm Steve Scott. Drill training is essential for success in any combat sport. It provides structure and discipline to every workout. In this episode, we're going to take a look at 12 of my favorite drills for ground fighting. Here's the drill we're going to do. Get your hooks in, Derek. So Derek gets his leg hooks in. Make sure. Here's the rule. Derek always wants to keep his legs hooked in, never cross your ankles. We all know that here in this level, guys working here. But keep him hooked in. He gets under his, might grab his lapels because he's got a, you know, gi on, or he can maybe hook up any way you want to. But Derek's job is to roll Ben around all around. Ben is not resisting. He's just letting Derek do it. And Derek is staying on his back. This is teach Derek. Teach us to stay on your guy's back. Don't, don't let go of that back. Keep your hooks in. Keep your legs in, keep your hands in. Stay with it, okay? And I'll tell you when to switch, I'll have you roll around about 20, 30 seconds, then be the other guy's turn. And cooperate with each other, okay? Watch your mat space, you do that fairly a good amount of space, we have a lot of guys on the mat, but do watch your mat space and talk about rolling with each other. I'll tell you when to switch. <laughs> Okay, make the switch. The other guy. Now here's what's going to happen. We're going to work on uh, breakdowns for time. Okay, as many breakdowns to a pinning situation, a holding, time hold, low psychoma situation as you can do. So Derek's going to start pretty much any position he wants. But Eric on the bottom here, he's on elbows and knees, okay? So Derek's job, I'm going to start the clock for 30 seconds, and I say go. He's going to shoot forearm near leg, any type of breakdown he wishes, any way to get him on his back, turn him onto his back, stick him for a second, pop him, get right back up. Eric gets right back up, and he does it again. You can go right and left, sit side, I don't care how you do it, but do as many good, effective breakdowns as possible under time, the stress of time. Okay, and that's what he's going to keep doing, right? Everybody got that? Okay, let's go ahead and team up. Sandy, keep, keep it rolling. And let's team up and let's start. I'll start the time with you, everybody. So let's go ahead, get a partner. Hey guys, elbows right. and knees, not parterre, on the elbows, and the other guy to the side. So okay, okay. Real quick. Get let's go. Get started, guys. Come on, guys. I don't waste our camera time. Yeah, you can help him too. Because he's done a, he's done a few of these before. It's been a while. Wait, I tell you, wait, I tell you, gentlemen, wait, I tell you, all at the same time. Okay, ready? Get down, get down, get set, go. Thirty seconds. Work it. Back on your leg. Don't Nelson. Anything you want to do? Work it. You're going. You're going. You're going. You're going. to lift and try to push and drive him. Scoop and drive. Don't don't lift. But you want to push into the chest at the same time you do. A few seconds left. And Brian time. Good. All right. Just on your knees. Okay. We're gonna do the spin and stretch. We do this a lot. It's a great drill. And it's one of those drills that is, is a great transition drill. It's a really basic standard drill, but it's so important that we, we need to do it a lot. So let's look at it. You're basically simulating a throw following through immediately the Juju Gatani cross body arm line. So look at Derek's position. He's got left hand elbow, right hand back behind. He's not grabbing inside the collar. He's grabbing either. We don't want to do that. Yeah, do, do the wrong thing. No. Yeah, that's, we don't want to do that. We want to grab between the shoulder blades like he had initially. 
and he's got a good grip on the man, okay? Now what he's gonna do is just put his right heel on the knee, see that? And he's just gonna spin him. Spins him over, and there's the spin, and he sits on him immediately. And he's gonna trap, he's gonna roll back into that Jujigatami. What he did was immediate sitting on that shoulder. Let's not stand there and look how pretty our work was, okay? What he does, when he spins him, now he's immediately, see how that right shin, this is for the newer guys, I want you to see this. That right shin was right against that rib cage there, okay? He's on it. He's squatting on his head. I might come on around here so you can see how he's, see how he's just squatting on his head. He's sitting, we would call a shoulder sit or head sit. And now he's trapping with his arms, Steve's arm. And he's going to roll back and finish the junior leg. Look, see how his knees are like this close? He didn't have to kick his leg over, guys, okay? That takes time, and it, it's, it's, it lessens your control of it in this particular situation, okay? Just do it one more time. And okay, I'm going to pan out a bit so you get a good view of it here. All right, so he, he does a spin, jams that foot in there, see that jam in there? He sits on the shoulder, rolls back, scratch it. Now, did you notice we want to drill on this? He wants to sit on his shoulder, and hug it. Don't just grab it. The basic way to do it is like we say grabbing like a ball bat, isn't it? But we don't want to do that now because I want to make his arm part of me. Okay, one more time, we'll spin the stretch, and then we'll go. There you go. And he rolls back. And it's a cooperation drill, you know? Steve, you know, Derek will do one, Steve will do one, back and forth. Do a right side and left side. And get both. But what we want to do is transition from a throw. Instead of taking a whole bunch of throws tonight, this is a great way to do this, Bill, because the idea is to follow up right after you fall and take him down. Okay? And he, this could be a move in his own self. So, do it again, Barry. He just, he, you might have caught him, he might be, Steve might be, for whatever reason, knocked on his knees. Bam! As soon as he comes up, guess what? You're going to roll him right into the future economy. Okay? So, we call it the spin and stretch because you spin him and you stretch his arm. Time right, to drill on him. Go get him. We're drilling on a uh, spinning juji and uh, lever drill. So basically, Derek rolls Anthony and he just levers him free. And Anthony's job as the bottom guy is as soon as he gets rolled over, he grabs his arms together. And uh, it's a drill, so you know we're just working on it. You can see there, see he grab, Derek grab his arms and we lever free. So the idea of this drill is as soon as you roll him over into a juji, into a leg press position, you immediately start levering his arm free to get the uh, straightened arm. And that's the point of this drill. It's also good, a little uh, extra stuff for the bottom guy. As soon as you've been had and you know it, grab your arms together, be defensive. So that's the purpose of this drill, spinning over, rolling him over, and as he grabs him and he works on levering it free. And we're just doing a double hook lever, thigh and hook lever. Whatever lever you like, this is the time to practice it. And that's the purpose of this drill. We're gonna do it in 30 second rounds, okay? And we're gonna do the, Mike's gonna do the, you know, from the top, he's gonna get the lapel, he's gonna whip, do the, you know, the rolling katahajime, single wing choke. That's one. He'll keep doing that as many as he can for 30 seconds. Does he choke Derek every time? No, he doesn't. He gets a position every time where he knows he can choke. And we'll be timing him. And do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Don't do them fast or sloppy. Do them efficiently. The idea is to put you under some stress here under time. Like in a real fight, a real match. You would be under the stress of time, of the, you know, the, the stress of fighting. You're not just taking your time to do it. You've got to do it fast, okay? Alright, let's team up. Same drill. And now for real. So get your partner. This one we start. You can do it on you first and then you'll kind of catch on. Whip and roll. Okay, you want a nice single wing choke? You can do a, you know, a courier, Jemay, whatever rolling lapel choke you want to do is fine. Are you ready? Set. Go. 30 seconds. Step in. Step in. Hook arm behind the head. Good. Roll to the butt without. Don't get hurt, Donnie. Here, and then that's it. Here. Is he yet? Four seconds. Four seconds. 
everybody this drill here we're going to do is a good uh, lever drill when you've got them so we're, we're, we've been drilling on our juju gitami tonight and here's a good extension of that for the top man in this case Derek and what what's going to happen is as you can see he's got him in a leg press position and we're just going to do five on each arm and then you know we'll switch and just go ahead and demo Derek what we're going to do we're going to work on our levers trap and lever pull free okay Dan just let him do it just trap and lever pull free bottom guy give you know, just minor resistance, about 50% of tops. The idea here is for the top guy to get good as soon as you grab and trap. Trap and trap and lever, trap and lever. Okay, so he'll do, say, five or so on that side, or maybe 10 on that side, and switch around Derek. You'll come on the other side. And you go on the other arm because you might have to, you might, you know, be in that position, trap and lever. Here's we practice the actual movement and also the technique of trapping and levering. So look how he. Traps with one arm, shoulder, real tight to the body, and then levers it free. And just a whole lot of these. And bottom guy, give about, at the most, 50%, you know, maybe a little heavier resistance, no, no more, because really the drill is for the top guy to get good at this. Thanks, Derek, there we go. So, and then we switch. So just come on the other side one more time to, to demo. And just look, the first one you trap, see how you trap, and then you lever it free. So you want to trap and lever. So these things happen in order. We've got them in a leg press controlling position, trap, lever. And that's, the, that's what the drill's about. You notice how he's rolling toward the head or the shoulder to pry it free. It's weaker in that direction. And that's what we're working on here, the skill and actual application of, of trapping that arm and levering it. So you know to do both when you get him stuck in a jujigatami position, trap and lever, trap and lever. And that's what this drill is, the trap and lever drill, okay? And we do a whole bunch of them. 
And that's why it's, it's boring, yes, but we get good at getting that arm free. Okay, then we can take it to a next step. Why don't you do the next step, and then we'll, because we'll, we will, rolling them over like a head roll juji. As soon as you roll them over, trap and lever. Can you demo that real quick while we just do that? So, yeah, so just roll them over and trap and lever, okay? So you can start from any position, uh, you know, then get on the elbows and knees. Just, just, yeah. And then, Derek, you start from, start from there, it's like in a head roll position. And as soon as he rolls them over, he traps and he levers, okay? And that's the drill. That would be, the, be, be you know, one repetition. Then he might go on the other side. So we can vary this drill, but the idea is to trap and lever. As soon as you got him stuck on his back, take him, okay? That's what this drill's about. So we'll drill on that a little bit. Then we'll come back and do some medicine ball training, okay? Go get him. What the guys are doing here, they're uh, shooting a, a breakdown, like for a pin, the man posts the leg, and we're coming up with something different. We're coming up with a different roll, a different setup. So we're doing, doing a plan B. So I've given the guys the task of uh, trying to get a breakdown or a turnover, <clears throat> and the opponent will react in some way, and then you react to his reaction. Again, here's kind of like the situation of Koboichi. Turn attack and defense, or it's chain wrestling, chain grappling, uh, however you want to call it. But this is the real world. That this actually happens this way. So he's not just going to let you break him down. You've got to do something that if the first breakdown doesn't work. Now, you may break him down with the first attack, but um, it may not happen that way. So there, he, breaks it, he stops it somehow. And Derek's going to come back. Nice little Adam's turn right into Juji Gatami. Notice how Ryan posted with a foot out there to stop the turn, stop the breakdown. You can see here just some different things. And there's a nice head roll juji from there. So that's what uh, that's what the drill was tonight. And you've got to attack, he reacts, you react to his reaction. It's a pursuit drill. And this is the way ground fighting or any type of fighting really, really takes place. One thing leads to another. We got the back end of that. Sorry about that, viewers. Okay, guys, two more each. Two more each will finish out. out there. And there's the compression bent arm lock from the leg press. Looks like one more for Derek, I guess. There we go. Nice head roll, Juji. And finish him with the Juji Gatama. There we have it. It's going to do the bridge and roll drill out of like the case of the Tommy or the, the scarf hold, okay? It's a, good, it's a good skill drill. It's a good warm-up drill, too. So we'll do that, and I'm going to have you do one. He'll do one, one right, one left. This is how we'll do it. So here's the, here's the drill. Mike's just going to hold me. Okay, you good, Tommy. Well, he's got a good one. Okay, now, all I want to do, guys, is grab, body lock him, or grab his gi, whatever, but I'm going to body lock him. Get real close. Bridge up. Roll. Boom. I repin him, and guess what? He'll do it to me. Yeah. Do you see that one thing? I'll do one, he'll do one. We'll keep doing that for a while, then we'll switch sides. I'll have him pin me on the left side, and we'll do it from that side to start. So it's a really good warm-up drill, but it's a good skill drill as well, okay? Uh, TJ, why don't you hop out here and have Mike pin you just like he did me. So I want, I want, new guys, I want to point out a few things. It's a good skill to know. So Mike's just going to do a standard, you know, head and arm, case of Tommy, scarf hold. All right? 
Now, what TJ's going to do, he's going to grab, body lock him, tight waist him, get his body real close in, and notice. Now, when you do that, your feet flat on the ground, guys, knees up. We don't like to see any kicking or whatever. He's going to bridge toward his head and, and roll all the way over. And he's going to quickly pin Mike. And Mike's going to do the same thing to him. And we're just going to keep doing that around him. We got a small mat. Try not to roll into each other, okay? All right. Is he resisting? No. We're, it's just a skill, and we're warming up. But it's a good way to learn how to. It's one of the best ways to escape from case of Tommy, but it's also a good warm up drill, okay? Let's do that. Bridge and roll escape drill. We're doing the bridge and roll escape drill. We're doing it as a warm up drill. It's a good warm up drill, but it's also a good skill drill. And what it is, as you can see, we'll key in here. Mike is uh, holding TJ. TJ does a bridge and roll, and he immediately repins. And then Mike's going to do the same thing. He's going to do a bridge and roll. And they do this. They'll do about 10 on each side, one on the, you know, 10 right and 10 left, and just work. Total cooperation. It's a skill drill, but it's also a good uh, warm up. And that's why we're doing it tonight. And this, uh, the bridge and roll is probably the best escape for Casey Gatami or Scarfold. And this is a good way to practice Casey Gatami and the bridge and roll escape. So here we have it, bridge and roll escape drill. We're doing the flatten out and ride drill, the rodeo ride drill. The idea is the top, top person to get behind his partner, get his back, and do a rodeo ride and flatten him out. Now the bottom guy, your job is to try to get up to a base. Top guy, your job is not to let him get up to that base. And that's the that's the drill. It's a pretty basic drill. It's, it's for both people, but it's really for the top guy a lot to keep his opponent down and just keep riding him in a good rodeo ride where you keep him flat on his face in a very vulnerable, weak position. And that's the drill. That's the, that's the drill we're doing here. And I'm having him do each five rounds. You know, I do one, you do one. And it's a, it's a good, hard, competitive drill. And the idea is to keep him flat, as you can see. They're doing that. If he gets to his base, then it, okay. Then in a real situation, you do something else. But we want to try to keep him from getting to his base. And that's the idea of the drill. Okay, no, just on your knees. Okay, what we're doing is just a drill and just simulate a throw. To uh, what's going to happen is Derek's going to do the spin. He's going to come across the spin now. Eric, yeah, you top up elbows, it's just like he bailed out of the floor, okay? And what he's going to do is hop around behind him and get really whatever move he wants to do. You know, I mean, the basic application would be just get the hooks in and flatten them out or something like that. That'd be a basic application of it. But you might want to do more than that because you guys are all really good at still, still you know, transitioning around. Maybe you might want to do head roll juji or rolling single and choke or whatever you want, really. So uh, let's take a why don't you do uh, like a spin, stretchy, bails out, elbows down, and head roll juice is a good example. So here's a good example, guys. Keep that bails out. Derek immediately starts working him. Again, we're transitioning quick from a standing to the ground situation. Uh, you like that the, the, the triangle from top. Huh. I mean, you, you can do any, anything you want. You know, you know grab choke, you get a gi choke, you know, with a single wing choke, you know, rolling top to hajime, anything you want, guys. So that's what we're doing. So, um, once you demo that one, this is good. So, spin, he rolls out, he bails out, here we go like that, and we just roll him, finish it there. So the idea is a quick, whatever you do well, do it immediately as soon as he bails out of the throat. Don't assume he's just going to lay there and let you slam him. Okay. Do that. Let's do that. Why don't you do one or two? Why don't you do two or do two? Just alternate, do it to get about ten done each. Okay, let's go do it. Right? What we're doing here is a, a very active Juji Gatami drill. Uh, we have this other places on our YouTube channel, but the guys are uh, really rolling around doing Juji Gatami. And, and the idea here, Derek's in white, in white gi, and, and Dre's in the blue gi. Um, so in this case, Dre's going to start, and he's going to do a, like a spinning Juji. There we go. Derek's going to give him some resistance, not much. He's going to sit up, and he's going to make Dre react. 
and Dre's going to come back and keep rolling and keep rolling because you don't always get Jujigatami the first time you're trying it. So this drill teaches you to stay with it. So it's the stay with it Jujigatami drill. Stay with the arm lock. And you keep rolling around and keep keep always trying to improving your position. You can see how we're starting there. He's nice, the nice head roll Juji finishes up. Dre's giving a bit of resistance. And, you know, and it's, a, it's a give and take drill. Both guys are kind of cooperating with each other. Now he's going to think, okay, boom, I'm going to take him back to a hip roll style. Juji, and I did. And you can see the drill. That's what we're kind of doing tonight in practice. And I'm focusing in on these two guys so you can kind of see what they're doing. And I'm having them do about five rounds each. So Dre does one, Derek does one, Dre does one back and forth like that. And again, we can, or we could do it for time. You know, Dre could be doing it. I'll say, okay, do as many as you can in a minute, and he'll be rolling around and do another one. So this is a very active Jujigatami drill. It's a realistic drill. It teaches good, realistic skills. You can see he's having to go out the back door on that one. Very nice. And the better you get in your grappling skills, and the better you get in training, the more you'll be able to not just do good aggressive moves in Juji, but you'll also be a very good partner. And these guys train quite a bit together, so they kind of, uh, he's got a nice clean one right off the bat there. There we go. <laughs> but that's a, it's a very active uh, Juji Gitami drill. Spin it. And this is where you can experiment and see if he moves su such and such way, what do I do? And here he's going to work a little, there you go, a little compression bent arm lock. And you can see the guys drilling. So that's how it works. It's a uh, stay with it Jujigatami drill. And it's very good for realistic uh, situations that actually come up. And again, if you don't get the first one, stay with it. Keep rolling them, keep rolling them. Stay round. That's one of the things we really do. We stay round, especially when we do our submissions and arm locks and Jujigatami. And that's what this does. So there you have it. Okay.